Hey, welcome back to 14 Faith with your Golly Shannon. Today's video, we are going over Step 5, Devotional 6, uh, Freedom Through Confession, found in Romans chapter 2, verses 12 through 15. If you want to pause the video, that would be great, but come on back so you can read along with me. Um, all of us struggle with our conscience, trying to make peace within our own hearts. We may deny what we have done, Find excuses or try to squirm our squirm out from beneath the full weight of our conduct. We may work hard to be good, um, trying to counteract our wrongs that we've done. We do everything we can to even out the score, in the in order to put the past to rest. However, we must stop rationalizing our sins and admit the truth. We are all born with a built-in alarm clock that alerts us when we do wrong. God holds everyone accountable. Listen to this again. God holds everyone accountable. And in Romans 2, 14 and 15, it says they demonstrate that God's law is written in their hearts for their own conscience and thoughts either accuse them or tell them they are doing right. In step five, we step out. I mean, in step in step five, we set out to stop this internal struggle and admit that wrong is wrong. It's time to be honest with um, God and ourselves about our cover-ups, the exact nature of our wrongs. <clears throat> we need to admit the sins we have committed and the pain we have caused to others. We may have spent years constructing alibis, coming up with excuses after excuses, and trying to plea bargain our way out of things. But listen, it's time to come clean. It's time to admit what we know deep down inside to be true. Yes, I'm guilty. I'm guilty of that. Guilty as charged. <clears throat> there is no real freedom without confession. There is no real freedom without confession. What a relief it finally is <clears throat> to give up the to give up the weight of our lies and excuses. Don't we know? Don't I know? It is uh, when we confess when we confess our sins, we will find the internal peace we lost so long ago along the way. Um, we also will be one step closer to recovery. Um, if you like this video. Uh, consider hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any more devotionals in each step that we're doing here um, on Forwarding Faith. And until then, oh, yeah, our next devotional will be in Galatians 6, chapter 6, on page 1503. And until then, may you have a blessed day. Bye!